but they try. Hey, ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Don't give up now! <coughs> now! <coughs> hey! <coughs> This is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished, though. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. I better get going. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Mm -hmm. This hole smells like gas. Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. 
He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. I'll wait till she's done. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. Nah, she's got a wrench. She's got her hands all over my bike. Jealous? I'll wait till she's done. I'll wait till she's done. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. <laughs> Well, I'd better take off. All right, drive safe now. It's empty. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. in the glass. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Steel bars in the glass. It's even sadder looking inside. Bars. There. I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough. I'm not putting my lips on that. Looks like a cabinet to me. on that. It's empty, but there's something hanging on the door. I'm not putting my lips on that. Wouldn't look good on my bike. I'm not putting my lips on that. His decor has a strong carnival co- No.
Apparently, this guy has a dog. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. Heavy looking. It's unlocked. No. No luck. This should be easy. Open up, Todd. Open up, Todd. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. Not on foot. <laughs> I couldn't break that lock. Couldn't break that lock. Tough looking padlock. <laughs> <laughs> 